Hello and good morning. Welcome to G3 Astro. Today we are in Pisces Ascendant and the 7th house Kartatva of marriage, type of marriage and timing of the event. This is the last Rashi in the Zodiac. So I will repeat the Kartatvas for marriage. 7th house, 7th house Lord, Venus and Moon in the Rashi chart. Navamsha Lagna and the 7th house from the Navamsha Lagna. The quality of marriage depends upon the Navamsha Lagna. Now in the Rashi chart we have Saturn posted in Pisces ascendant. We have Venus in the 7th house. Uh, the Lagna Lord Jupiter is posted in the 6th house conjoined with Moon aspected by Rahu and Ma. Mercury is posted in the 8th house conjoined with Ketu and aspected by Rahu understood. The uh, Karaka for marriage Venus is Nicha and aspected by Saturn. On the whole this chart looks poor in the parameters of marriage. In the Navamsha, Navamsha Lagna is in the, seven, in the fifth Tamsha along with exalted Jupiter. Mars is posted in the seventh house. The marriage will take place because Jupiter and Lagna is in the fifth Tamsha. Two, the quality of marriage will be good with hurdles. If you come back to the Rashi chart, we will observe that there is a Parivartana Yoga between Venus and Mercury which is to be remembered. This Parivartana Yoga will be the cause of the native getting married and will be the cause of the native having an above average marriage. Because here the Parivartana Yoga gives an exalted Mercury. Venus gets conjoined with Ketu and Rahu. Now the native will have a love marriage because there is a link to 1, 5, 7 and 9. The Lagnadipati Jupiter is conjoined with the 5th house Lord Moon and the 7th house Lord is conjoined with the Lagna Lord through Ma Rahu. Rahu aspects both Jupiter as well as Mercury. Mars blesses Jupiter. Mars being the ninth house lord blesses the Jupiter. Therefore the native will have love or like come marriage. Now let us look at the timing of the event. The native had Rahu Dasha, Rahu Bhukti starting from October 1990. He would be just about 23 years old or 20, 23 years old. So let us look at Rahu Dasha, Jupiter Bhukti or fag end of Rahu Dasha, Rahu Bhukti. Rahu Dasha, fag end of Rahu Bhukti can give marriage because Rahu has a link with both Jupiter as well as Mercury. Now Rahu Dasha, Jupiter Bhukti is more possibly, possibility is stronger because Jupiter is the Lagna Lord, Rahu is a natural marriage giver and Jupiter is in the Navamsha Lagna. Therefore, the native could have got married in Rahu Dasha, Rahu Bhukti Fag End or Rahu Dasha, Jupiter Bhukti in 1993, June, July. Now, let us look at the transit, this chart in 1993, January. If you look at this chart, the 1993, January 14th is what I have put the chart. We find that the Jupiter is posted in Virgo at 20 degrees aspecting Pisces the Lagna Lord, Lagna. Capricorn, Saturn is posted in Capricorn therefore Saturn 2 is aspecting the Lagna thereby fulfilling the dual transit. The native could have got married between January 1993 to February 1994 wherein you have the fag end of Rahu Dasha Rahu Bhukti or the beginning of Rahu Dasha Jupiter Bhukti. I hope this video was useful to you. Do like, share, subscribe. Follow me at G3 Astro. My next video will be in the 8th house Karatatvas of surprises and changes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a pleasant day.